hi and welcome to another video on the practical sql for beginners in the previous video that was when we started the hands-on task when we start writing our first query as you can see on the screen here so we're going to continue from where we stop in this video i will focus on two major queries or so to say major commands one is going to be distinct and two is going to be where the where command most of the time there's no way you will write an sql query without a where condition because most of the questions you want to answer requires that you have at least one where condition there a where, con a where statement so to say and so in this video i'm going to introduce you to it it's nothing that difficult it's very easy to go by so first let us look at the distinct command so distinct is often to use to list the distinct value there are situations where you will need to use the distinct value so let's go and just try out at least two queries to select distinct the first one we're going to need to go back to our table our person table so i'm going to select star from person dot person all right that's a person table by the way, the meaning of all these tables I've explained in previous videos, you have to go through the playlist for the SQL. You will see when we installed Adventure Work Database, when I explained the schema, the business behind this database, uh, before the last video that we had. So, there are resources that will help you to understand what each table stands for and um, how to flow along with this video. Alright, so we have the pressing table, which houses everybody interfacing or interacting with um, the Adventure Work Business. Either you are the employee, either you are you are individuals, either you are agent, either you are general contact, either you are assist contact, you know, all of them, they are inside the person schema, person to person table. So what we are interested here at first is this person type. All I was saying now is under person type, uh, the, in terms of employee, individuals and the rest. So let us look at how many distinct person type do we even have. Okay, so select distinct person type from person dot person so this is a person type we have a lot of them but let us look at the distance so that we can understand how many yes fantastic so we have six distinct person type and that's how you get to know how many distinct we have you want the count you can also count um you can count in terms of this thing which is still the same thing as what we have so when i count here i just add the count to it it's number six just going to return back to us six so um later you will be using both this thing and count together uh you know all right so now that we have used this distance you see now it's giving us distance let's try another distance let's just add to this person type because we want to select more than person type we have person type we have email promotion let's try email promotion so we have two columns that we are you know selecting here so when i click on execute you can see email promotion the email promotion column stands for different things for zero for two for one you're able to see for but this doesn't make sense because vc will be replicated more than once you can see there's vc here there's vc here all these things are replicated for you know for more than once because um it is not distinct it is not distinct it is distinct for person distinct for email but there's still repetition so what that means is for email type email promotion rather for zero is going to have for email zero if vc okay let me regroup this so that i can understand this better so let's put this person type after email promotion You see that for every email promotion, it's going to do a sort of exclusive thing. Okay, let's order. Order by email promotion. So I'm just going to order by email promotion. Either ascending or descending. That's fine. So cool. So for every zero for email promotion, you're going to have all the person types. For every one, you're going to have all the person type. So that's what we are having here. And for every two, you're going to have the person type. All right. But what we've been able to see is this distance now you see how distance works 
and you can use the order to even get a better understanding about the flow it's still the same thing if i replace it and have my person type first before email promotion and i want to order by person type so you can guess what we're going to have by person type similar to what we have here but this time around for em you're going to have one two zero for gc one zero two the arrangement differs but it's still the same thing all right so now that we are done with the distance let's look at the where clause quickly so like i said the where is that statement that open to help you to filter what you are querying and we're going to go back to the employee table so i'm going to select star from human resource schema dot employee table okay All right. from this table we use three columns the first one is marital status to do our wear clause we're going to use gender and also our vacation hours right. the first thing i want to do here is for marital status select all the things uh just give me the details all details on employee table about married married employee so we need to now filter this by where the marital status is married m is for married so i'm going to add the where clause the where clause is where so marital status marital status equals to i'm going to quote it because it's a string is a test so i need to put a quote around it now it's going to give me all the list of employees that are married you can see the marital status now is married the gender can be male or female what if i want to add another condition and say where they are female they are married and yet their gender is female so i need to put and this time around i say gender equals remember it's a text as well so i have to put f in quote when i run this now i'm going to have a reduced number which is now they are married and now we have all females let us do another one this time around for vacation hours all right so we are interested in vacation hour is number is numeric so uh, let's just try three things about vacation hour where we are interested in where vacation vacation hours is equals to let's say 30 vacation hours is equals to 30 do we have anything like that okay we have two that have vacation hours to be equals to 30 so how about vacation hours less than 30 so now because it's it's number you can now be carrying out those um other um conditions less than greater than equals to you know you can always run that here okay this is not to make it complex it's just to introduce you to how to select this thing and where in the next video i'm doing i'm going to show you uh, case how to use case to bind value take for example now the person type that we had here the person type let me just take this back from email and just reload the person type so in the next video this person type like in means individual em means employee so we're going to use when someone asks you to query to supply data and you need the person type column you're not going to give this to the person you need to give the full meaning you know of in because in this case, the person just need the final data for analysis. So, in the next video, we're going to show how to use case to regroup and reclassify them and return the right value for the end users. All right. Thank you. Don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep updated and as well build on your SQS skill. See you in the next video.